Also, we have a very interesting question from thermochemistry. What equation must be used to represent the formation of sodium hydrogen carbonate? Um, we have an alcohol, we have calcium carbonate. When we start to include this value of infallible formation, of course, just because of uh, I didn't have a symbol, but this is a, this is a symbol of uh, infallible formation. So, if you see that, don't be surprised. The same question. So, I'm sure by now we do know how to determine the enthalpy using the enthalpy formations. We now know how to determine the enthalpy using the bond energies. In case you're not uh, sure about that, you can just uh, give us a comment or get in touch with us for you to have access to that tutorial. Okay, so now, what we just need to understand is, eh, whenever you want to write um, an equation, you look at what you've been given, of course. And what you'd want to do is, first of all, indicate all the elements that are making up that compound in their natural form include the states that they exist and also write them whether they exist diatomically or monatomically indicate that so we'll start with that so we can see sodium there we know that sodium exists as a metal so it's in solid state we know that hydrogen exists diatomically so we'll put hydrogen too as a gas and then we also know that carbon exists in what form in solid form not so and then what else do we know we know oxygen exists what diatomical as well so on the other side i'll just put the, the compound itself sodium hydrogen carbonate so now i need to make sure that whatever I've written is supposed to be balanced okay i need to make sure that whatever I've written is supposed to be balanced so if I check the other side, I've got sodium, I've sodium, I've got two hydrogen atoms. On the left, we just have a single one. So what should I do? I'll therefore put just half there. And then what else? If I check the carbon, how many carbons are in sodium carbonate itself? Of course, it's just a single carbon there. So it remains as it is. And then oxygen, we have got three oxygen atoms. So put three over two there to just make it... Uh, the idea is if you multiply 3 over 2 by 2, what do you expect? You remain with what? 3. So we use fractions whenever we are writing this to balance up. Okay. So now you can pause the video if you want to try out the next one. Okay. So we have CH3. We have CH3. And then OH. <coughs> so all the same. We'll first of all start with the elements that we have. What we have, we have carbon. So I write the carbon plus, of course, carbon exists in solid state, plus what? The hydrogen, which exists atomically as a gas. And then we have oxygen, which exists atomically as a gas. And then <coughs> on the other side, we expect to have the alcohol itself. Okay, so what we need to make sure is we need to make sure that everything is balanced up. So carbon, we just have a single one, so it's balanced. Hydrogen, we have four, so put it two there to balance up. Then oxygen, we have a single one, so put one over two there. To just because you know one over two multiplied by two gives us a one. At this point, you know that you've balanced up the equation. And this is the equation where, which you can use to include the value of the enthalpy. Okay, so collection there, so include its value of enthalpy formation. Okay, and then just one more. Calcium carbonate, which I feel you are able to do at this point from what from the two examples. So calcium carbonate, which is in solid state. Now what do we have? We have carbon. Sorry, we have calcium to start with, which is in solid state as a metal. And then we have carbon, which is also in solid state as graphite. And then we have oxygen, which exists atomically as a gas. And then what we have on the other side is of calcium carbonate in solid state. So what do you get there? So you need to balance everything else. So calcium is already balanced. Carbon is already balanced. One, one. And then oxygen, we've got three on the other side. And then here we have um, two. So I'll put three over two. So at the two cancel out, and then we just remain with what? Three. So this is the equation that is required to represent the formation of calcium carbonate, where we can include the info of formation of calcium carbonate. So thank you very much for watching. If you want other videos on thermochemistry, on different components, S is low. For example, determination of enthalpy from bond enthalpies and enthalpy formations and calorimetry 
you can just uh, give us a comment or get in touch with us by checking for the youtube information just check there you'll be able to get in touch with us and we'll grant you access to all the videos that you need thank you very much for watching and have a blessed day